Residents of the Ferro Valley neighborhood here in Corpus Christi are still hopeful that a $300 million development will get a green light, despite the fact that it's being held up currently in the courts. Barisi Village, as it's called, was first proposed about five years ago, but a handful of homeowners filed suit and began a major legal battle. Our Taylor Ananis was at a homeowners association meeting tonight where residents were assured the development would happen. Taylor. Barisi Village developer Jack Blackard came down for that meeting. He says he hopes the lawsuit will be out of the appellate court within a few months, but in the meantime, they are still engineering and working on the project. Construction of the Italian-inspired multi-development village is planned for the site. Developers say 83% of homeowners surrounding the golf course were in favor of Barisi Village. Back in 2015, two lawsuits claimed changing deed restrictions on the property, which would allow the development to happen, were unconstitutional. They were both dismissed. However, the second suit filed in a state court is now under appeal, and the residents I spoke to tonight say they are furious that it is taking this long to get the wheels turning on this development, and the de delay is detrimental to their neighborhood. We've had to tear buildings down. They've created fires and have had to call the fire department three different times and put homes at risk because we're waiting for this crew to stop this nonsense so we can make progress in this, in this community. They, they may have a different vision for what their backyard should look like, and I totally respect that. Um, but I would love for them to step forward and say what they want in their backyard. The few residents opposed to Barisi Village were not at tonight's meeting. Developer Jeff Blackard says he has multi-use developments around the country that have made their communities prosper, including one of the most notable in McKinney, Texas. He says he's grown close to this community of Faro Valley, and he's committed to making this development happen. Joe. All right, an update for us. Thank you, Taylor.